At the Creation Evidence Museum in Glen Rose, Texas, we are proceeding to get online a major scientific experiment. Some of NASA engineers have suggested that this is the most intriguing experiment they have ever seen. What are we doing? After decades of analyzing the conditions that prevail before the worldwide flood, and we do have a handle on what it was like before the flood, we now have enough data to simulate those conditions. In this huge chamber, 62 feet long, 11 feet wide, weighs 92,000 pounds. In this huge chamber, we will be simulating those conditions, essentially doubling the atmospheric pressure, filtering the ultraviolet, dominating with magenta light, and other parameters such as altering the electromagnetic field to match what it was at that time in history. Under those conditions, we will be running specialized experiments. One experiment is to uh, see how large we can grow a watermelon. Now, I heard of a watermelon that was grown to be almost 800 pounds. Under these conditions, pre-flood, everything was larger. The plants were larger. Lepidodendron, which today is a club moss, getting about 14 inches in height, in the fossil record was 120 feet tall. I wonder how large we could grow a watermelon. We're going to experiment with that. But I think one of the more exotic experiments that we're going to run has to do with the dragonfly. Now the dragonfly in the fossil record is much larger than it is extant today. Today, if we get a four or six inch wingspan to a dragonfly, we're doing pretty well. But in the fossil record, one dragonfly was found in Europe, a fossilized dragonfly wing. One wing was found. If you double that and increase the span between for the central mechanism, and it is an incredible mechanism uh, of design, that meant that the length of the wings approximated five feet. That is absolutely incredible. We're not suggesting that we'll be able to reproduce that and grow a dragonfly uh, five feet in length of wingspan. But if we produce a dragonfly with a 10 inch wingspan compared to today's four to six inch wingspan, this experiment will be extremely successful. Watch us as we experiment under conditions that prevailed before the worldwide flood of Noah's day.